Hi, I'm Mrs. D. Math. Welcome to my channel. Today we're going to cover algebraic representations of transformations. This goes along with several property videos that we've covered recently. You can find those linked below. For the rules of translation, this is where we slide. We have right, left, up, or down are the directions that we can go. If I'm moving right A units, and I'm using A in place of a number because that could change, then I'm going to add A to the X coordinate. So whatever value A is, we're going to add it to the X coordinate. And you can see in the ordered pair there, I have X plus A comma Y. So right means that only the X value changes. Left A units means I'm going to subtract A from the X coordinate. So in this case, I have X minus A comma Y. I'm going to move up B units. So now I've changed to B because it's going to be a different number add B to the Y coordinate. So if we're moving up, we're adding to the Y value. So X comma Y plus B. Down B units means that I'm subtracting from the Y coordinate. So I have X comma Y minus B. So let's go ahead and put these into practice. I have a triangle here and I'm gonna go ahead and label my points on my graph. So A is at 1, 11. Point B is at negative 1, 8, and point C is at 4, 7. So I'm going to use that information over here in order to translate the triangle. And this one tells me to translate the triangle 6 units to the right and 8 units down. So let's go with our first point here, and we're going to go with the A. So for my A, I'm going to say one, and then six units to the right means that I'm gonna add six. So you can see here, right, means I'm gonna add that value six, if you look up at our rules, to the X value. Then I have my Y, which is 11, and the Y says I'm gonna move eight units down. So if I go up here to my chart, down says I'm gonna subtract, so I'm going to subtract eight from my Y value. Now, this is going to give me my new A, which is gonna be A prime. Anytime you translate or reflect or rotate a position, your new position is going to be the new image. We're gonna call the points prime. So we have A prime, and my new point here is gonna be one plus six is seven, and 11 minus eight is three. So I can go to my graph and plot A prime. So I'm at seven, three. So here's my new A. Then we're gonna do the same thing with B. So point B is at negative one, and I'm gonna add six. Y is at eight, and I'm gonna subtract eight. So my B prime position is now at five, negative one plus six and zero. Eight minus eight is zero. I'm gonna go ahead and plot that point. So I have five, zero. Here's my B prime. And then my last point, C, we're at four and I'm gonna add six. My Y is at seven and I'm gonna subtract eight. So my new C prime is at 10, negative one. So I'm gonna go over here to the 10, negative one. There's my C prime. So now the shape hasn't changed. I can tell that it looks like the same shape, but I'm gonna go ahead and check one of these on the graph. And I'm gonna go ahead and count from the A. Let's go to the right six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then from there I can go down eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight. So I did move that one correctly, six units to the right, eight units down. So there are two different ways you can do this. You could just count and move all your points, or you could use the rules of translations and you could add or subtract from the X value if it's moving right or left, and you could add or subtract from the Y value if it's moving up or down. So then we also have reflections, which is another transformation. The reflection 
is where it flips across either the x-axis or the y-axis. So the rules for the reflection is if it crosses the x-axis, if it flips or reflects across the x-axis, we're gonna multiply the y-coordinate by negative one. So you can see here I have x comma negative y. That means if y is already negative, it's gonna turn into a positive. Across the y-axis, we're gonna multiply the x-coordinate by negative one. So my x value is gonna change and my y value is gonna stay the same. So here we have a graph with a quadrilateral and we wanna reflect the quadrilateral across the x-axis using the rules first. So the first thing we're gonna do again is plot these points here. So A is at three, nine, B is at one, six, C is at five, two, and D is at nine, five. Okay, so we're gonna use this space over here and my A prime is going to end up, if I'm going across the x-axis, so if I go across the x-axis and I look here at my rules, the y-coordinate is gonna multiply by negative one. So my a prime is gonna stay three for the x, and then my nine times negative one is a negative nine. My b prime, my one, my x is gonna stay the same, my positive six times negative one turns to a negative six. C prime, five stays the same, and my Y turns into a negative two. D prime, nine stays the same, my Y value multiplies by negative one. So now we have our new points, so we're gonna go ahead and plot those here. So we have three, negative nine is my A prime, B is at one, negative six, and C is at five, negative two, and D is at nine, negative five. If you've already seen the video where we covered the reflection, if you'll remember what we did is we took each point and we counted to the x-axis, since we're reflecting over that one, and we counted the other direction the same number. So C is two places away from x, so I go two in the other direction, and I have a point there. Sometimes following the rules is a little bit easier than actually counting all those points on your graph and making sure that you stay even. But you notice that no matter what happens, my Bs have the same X value. That doesn't change. My A has the same X value. My C has the same X value and my Ds have the same X value. So that stayed the same. My Y just turned to a negative value. So let's look at our last rules for our rotations. And the rotations we did talk a little bit more about in the rotation video, if you've seen that. It is linked below if you haven't. We have 90 degrees clockwise, 90 degrees counterclockwise, and 180 degrees. So those are the different rotations that we're going to make. If I am moving 90 degrees clockwise, I'm gonna multiply my X coordinate by negative one, and then the X and the Y are gonna switch places. And if you remember, 270 degrees clockwise is the same as 90 degrees counterclockwise. So if you see 270 degrees clockwise, you're gonna use the next one, 90 degrees counterclockwise. In this case, we're gonna multiply the Y coordinate by negative one, then we're gonna switch the X and Y, just like we did for 90 degrees clockwise. So this is the same as this rule right here. 180 degrees means I'm gonna multiply both my X and Y coordinates by negative one, but they aren't going to switch places. They're just both going to turn to a negative. So here I have a quadrilateral and I wanna rotate it 90 degrees counterclockwise using my rules. So I'm gonna go up here and this is gonna follow the second rule. First, I need to label my points on my graph. So A, we have three, six. B is at one, three. C is at five, negative one. And D is at nine, two. So I'm gonna go over here to my rules and I'm gonna find my A 
prime. So one, it tells me to multiply my y coordinate, so that's my six, times negative one, so that's gonna be a negative six, and then they're going to switch places. So that means my a prime is gonna be negative six, three. So we'll go over here, negative six, three. So here's my a prime. Then I'm gonna find my b prime. b prime, I'm gonna multiply my y times a negative, so that's gonna turn into a negative three, and then they're gonna switch places. So now I have negative three, one. So I'm gonna count negative three, one. So here's my b prime. c prime, again, I'm going to multiply my y times a negative, which means this one's gonna turn into a positive one and then they're gonna switch places. So C prime is one, five. So I'm gonna go over here and go one, five. Here's my C prime. And then my D prime, I'm gonna multiply my Y times a negative one, so that's gonna end up being a negative two, and then they trade places. So negative two, nine. So I'm gonna graph that one, negative two, nine. There's my D prime. So now that I've connected all my points, I can see here that with the origin as my point of rotation, then everything has moved to the next quadrant to the left because we are going counterclockwise. We're moving this direction. As we move, the Y values multiply by negative one and then the X and the Y values are going to switch places. I hope this video on algebraic representations of transformations in eighth grade math helped you understand your properties a little bit better. We covered the rules of translations, reflections, and rotations. You can always use the rules or you can use the movements. Thanks for joining me today. I'm Mrs. D Math. Have a great day. Bye.